article is, do I fall in America's lower, middle, or upper class? Here's how your income measures up in the U.S. economic system. This is from MoneyWise. And as analysis, a household of three needs an income of $156,600 to meet the definition of upper class. Are Americans making this much? Are they? They're specifying three. I know a lot of people that make that and more, but it's only them and their, their, their spouse and maybe a dog or a cat, no children. And what I'm learning is more Americans are checking out of having children because they don't to, you know, diminish the quality of their lifestyle. So many people here in America associate themselves as a middle-class person. And based on Pew's calculator, middle-class earners are actually those whose income falls between 52,000 and 156,000. Like, there's a lot of people then that falls into the lower class. So they're saying for the lower class, you're bringing in less than 52,000 per year. And this group makes up a significant chunk of the U.S. population. I love how they say it so, so matter of factly. This group makes up a significant chunk. It's almost like they love that. They love the idea that Americans are not making a lot of money. Do you fall in the middle class, lower class, or upper class? Living frugally is probably the number one way I've seen people be able to save, meaning not just save their money and put it in a bank account. My mom, when I was growing up, for example, we grew up listening to her talk about money and investments and savings. She's a CPA. My stepfather was an electrical engineer. We grew up with the common sense knowledge that showing off Having nice things does not mean you're gonna have a better quality of life. What it means is that you wanna keep up with the Joneses. And then you, it, what happens is those people are the ones that fall in the lower class. And they're trying so hard to keep up with all the trends, all the fads, all the, you know, I got the newest car, I got the best house. And really they end up broke in the end. If we do not let people understand, you can't keep borrowing things you can't put things on credit card you can't constantly say oh i'll just pay you know buy now pay later live within your means people and understand no one's watching you harder than yourself it's like the other day i was thinking do i really need this shirt do i need this pants nobody cares nobody's watching you that hard to see what you're wearing every day they don't care what's important is that you show up you're presentable you're a hard worker, you have good ethics and morals, and you're a person that knows how to value what's important in life. And if that means living below your means and, and investing and not talking about your money and not talking about what you have and living frugally and in some ways pretend to be poor. Because once you start having a lot of money, with more money comes more problems. Anyways, you guys comment in the comments below and tell me if whatever class you fall into. Have a great day, think for yourself.